these are the parts that come with it. Uh, a tin port manifold. Uh, this can be taken out on the end here, and an eleventh port could be used if you had desire to use it, but that would be at your own risk. Uh, it goes together very easily. Again, all, all, all the connections are compressed fittings. Uh, no, no glue, no, no adhesives. Everything goes together real nice. And you can fill as many of these as you need for carboys. Let's see, we're going to do five of them today. We'll just put five tubes with rubber stoppers. I'll send you ten. Uh, I'll, drop it. I'll send you ten plugs for the for the ports that you're not going to use. Make sure you get an extra one in there. Again, everything fits in very quickly, very smoothly. So there we are. We got we got uh, enough uh, vacuum lines to handle five carboys of wine. Connect your air source from your compressor here, and uh, turn it on and let it do its work. Okay, this is the picture of the parts that uh, you would expect to get when you ordered the gas getter 813. And again, it's uh, designed to work with a five and a half horsepower or greater uh, compressor. And you can do anywhere from one carboy of wine all the way up through ten, to, to, to just depending on what your needs are. Very powerful. Uh, again, the thing will work uh, uh, 15 minutes for the first one and then an average of 5 minutes for each one thereafter. So 45 and 15, it would take you just about an hour to do 10 of them. I recently did one with 10 and it took me an hour and 10 minutes. So uh, I always run my compressor and, and run the, the unit until the gases have appreciably slowed down. And I know I've gotten way more gas out of it than I could have with the old drill and, and, and stir and agitate uh, uh, method of degassing your wine.